Welcome along to another Dowered online services help video. And in the video today, we're going to take a look at completing your single application form electronically using the Dowered online services. So as you can see, we've logged into our Dowered online services account. We've chosen the single application and maps function from our list of available services. And to complete and submit the application form, what I'll do next is click the green option, continue to single application and maps. Now, as you can see, the information has been loaded up on the screen. And in this particular example, because I've already started this application, I'm getting the message, welcome back. If this is the first time you've attempted to complete this application this year, the message will simply say, welcome. But as you can see, if you do attempt to complete the application, you can stop at any point and re-log in and revisit the application to update and resubmit it at a later date. And you can do this right up until the completion date at the end of May. In order to complete the process, there are four steps. Step one is selecting the scheme or schemes you wish to apply for. Step two will be the questions you must answer related to the schemes you've selected. Step three will be confirming or adjusting your land details that you wish to declare. And finally, step four is the confirmation of the information and submitting the application. In this video, we'll take a look at steps one and two, and we'll cover steps three and steps four in future videos. So in order to select our schemes, we'll scroll to the bottom of the page and choose Continue Application. So as you can see in this particular case, there's some answers already completed. That's because this is not the first time I've opened this particular business's application. And the questions all have the options yes or no. So we can choose various schemes, such as our basic payment and greening scheme, yes or no. If you don't wish to apply for basic payment and greening and you choose the no option, you don't get the option to apply for young farmers payment also. But if you do apply for basic payment and greening by choosing yes, you'll notice you get the option to apply for the young farmers payment. And again, you've got a yes or a no option. And if you wish to apply for areas of natural constraint, again, choose the yes or no option. In this example, we're choosing no. So once you're selected the schemes, you wish to apply for, you choose next to move on to answer the questions. And again, because this form has already been partially completed, some of the answers will already be on the form and completed for us. Now in this example, again, all of the questions we're being asked to answer are based upon the schemes we've selected. So because we didn't ask to apply for ANC, there will be no questions relating to the ANC application. But if you did, you'll notice you'll have some slightly different questions than are shown in the video example. All of the questions follow the same principle. You choose either yes or no for most of the questions. If you would like any more information about a particular question, each question has an information button associated with it. Point to the button and click, and you will see more information about the question that you're about to answer. If you would like additional information that's not included in this video, please contact the advisory team and whose details will be shown at the end of the video. We'll click the close button to remove the information and you simply go through the questions and make sure you answer each one. If you do happen to leave any question blank or not answered, you will be told at the end of the process to complete all questions. So it's not possible to submit the application form without first answering each question that's required. The only question that doesn't have a yes or no answer in this particular example is, do you wish to be paid in euros? And you simply have a checkbox. So if you do wish to be paid in euros, you simply put a tick in the box by clicking on it, and you will get a warning message ensuring that you must have a euro bank details submitted to DARD. If you don't wish to get paid in euros, you simply remove the tick or don't tick the box in the first place. But once you've checked all the questions and you're content with all of the answers you have given, you choose next to move on to the third stage, field data. And we'll cover the field data and land details usage in a subsequent video. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions about the single application process, please feel free to contact the advisory team on the details shown on the screen below.